Up first this evening, Prime Minister Andrew Holness is defending the government's decision to put forward a candidate for the post of Commonwealth Secretary General in the wake of controversy. The government recently announced that Foreign Affairs Minister, Minister Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith will be Jamaica's candidate for the post. Mr. Holness addressed the issue in the House of Representatives this afternoon. Vashon Brown covered the sitting and now joins us live. Vashon? Thank you so much, Janela. Now, eyebrows were raised recently about Jamaica's decision to nominate a candidate for the post of Commonwealth Secretary General amid claims that some CARICOM nations had agreed to support the re-election of Baroness Patricia Scotland. Of course, Scotland is the current holder of that position. In fact, Antigua and Barbuda's Prime Minister Gaston Brown described Kamina Johnson-Smith's candidacy as a monumental error, which he said would only serve to divide the Caribbean. Now, when he spoke in Parliament today, Prime Minister Andrew Holness said there has been a strong push for an alternative to the incumbent. Kenya nominated a candidate and then subsequently withdrew. And today, Tuvalu formally launched its candidature in London. And it is quite possible that others could emerge. We can conclude that the first term of the incumbent has left room for challenge. In recent weeks, Jamaica has had to consider the state of affairs and future of the Commonwealth in conjunction with the incredibly strong encouragement and support to put forward a candidate and specifically in the person of Minister Johnson. Now, there have been questions about whether we had actually had discussions with CARICOM nations before announcing this uh, decision. Mr. Holness said he engaged in a process of consultation, starting with members of CARICOM, to seek a better understanding of their views on the leadership of the organization, as well as the possible candidacy of Senator Johnson Smith. With very limited exceptions, the responses of the heads of government and heads of state as well as foreign ministers with whom we engaged across regions, have been extremely encouraging. With several of them voluntarily committing to seek support for the candidature from their regional colleagues. On the strength of that feedback, and more importantly, my personal knowledge of the Minister's unwavering commitment to public service in the interest of global development, we took a sovereign decision. Now, the Prime Minister says he's since spoken with the Chairman of CARICOM, the Prime Minister of Belize, about the development. CARICOM heads of government will meet tomorrow to revisit this very matter. Mr. Holness says he believes having a Jamaican candidate, a Caribbean candidate, is good for the region and the wider Commonwealth. We are providing an alternative in response to persisting issues and the strong positive response to consultations on Minister Johnson Smith's candidacy. Against this background, there is no need to position our decision as controversial or divisive. It is never Jamaica's intention to seek to divide our CARICOM family. No. A decision on the appointment of a Secretary General is to be made during the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting to take place from June 20 to 25 in Rwanda. Now, the Rwandan president is expected to visit Jamaica next week, but the Prime Minister says this has nothing to do with the candidacy of Kamina Johnson-Smith. In 2019, I invited President Kagame to visit in April of 2020. However, the pandemic delayed these plans, which were revived in September last year for the president to visit Jamaica next Wednesday. There is absolutely no correlation between Minister Johnson Smith's candidacy and the state visit of President Kagame. We look forward to hosting the leader of one of the most progressive countries on the African continent. 
The Rwandan president will soon be the chairman of Commonwealth Heads of Government for the next two years. But Mr. Holness says Jamaica does not want to compromise his neutrality and so will not put matters related to Kamina Johnson-Smith's candidacy on the agenda of the bilateral discussions. Janela? And uh, Vashon, for the first time, the opposition broke its silence on this particular matter. What exactly did the opposition, Mark Golding, say? That's right, Janela. The opposition leader did speak in Parliament today. He said he wanted to make it clear that he believes that Senator Johnson-Smith is qualified and has the requisite experience for the position. However, he argued that unity in the region must be protected. The manner and context of the recent announcement of Jamaica's decision to put up a candidate as Secretary General of the Commonwealth has created a very messy and undesirable situation. Since the announcement, two CARICOM Prime Ministers have publicly stated that at the recent CARICOM meeting in Belize in March last month, in which Jamaica participated, the CARICOM heads of government expressed overwhelming support, those are the words that were used, for the re-election of the existing Secretary General of the Commonwealth. Now, Mark Golding says Jamaica's interests would be best served by promoting solidarity and forging the united support with the Commonwealth Caribbean countries. Janela? Thank you so much, Vashon, for that comprehensive report.